just open my eyes that I may see. Lead me, oh Lord, won't you lead me? In the news this week, I'm sure some of you may have seen that somewhere in Israel, a discovery has been made. In the side of a sheer rock, there was cleft a, cr a cave. And within this cave, some archaeologists have discovered some old parchment, which they believe were from the times of Jesus, or just beyond. It's the greatest discovery in 60 years, apparently, since the Dead Sea Scrolls, about 1948, I believe they were found. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's come out to great accolade and it's great enjoyment and excitement in the biblical and theological world. And I, yes, I'm always happy to hear of some new discovery that may reveal God to us. My friends, this week, I made my own discovery as fruitful and as uh, hopefully useful. Because indeed we can all make these wonderful discoveries ourselves each and every day. Just open your Bible. Just open your Bible, my friends, and you'll find little gems in there that you hadn't seen for many, many years. And such is the case this morning. Indeed, for our text, which I wish to quote from. Mark, chapter 10, verse 49. And I'm quoting from the King James Version of it. Mark 10, verse 49. Be of good comfort. Rise, he calleth thee. Be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee. Now this little text, I would suggest, is applicable to us all in three circumstances. Well, first and foremost, it's applicable to you and I. All gathered here today, all believers of Christ. It's applicable to others who may not yet have come to Christ. And it's applicable to all of us in the future. So to you and I, our text, as we see, was taken from our reading this morning that came from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 10, verse 46 to 50, in which we heard that Jesus was making that final journey to Jerusalem, so many days out from that final day to Jerusalem. Now, as we sit today, we are two weeks away from Easter. So we are making that little journey ourselves to Easter. But of course... Jesus was heading to his death and had predicted this to his disciples. We hear as he leaves Jericho to commence that journey to Jerusalem, that 15 mile journey. Outside is the, the blind man, Bartimaeus. I would suggest this morning that you and I, we are indeed, we are Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus had some distinguishing characteristics about him which I say relate to us, and so we are Bartimaeus. And as such, the reading will apply to us. When we look to the story, we see that Bartimaeus was sitting outside, he was begging, begging for arms, begging for money, begging for food. On this basis, then, we, would, we could, it's easy to say, and honest to say, that he was of a lower standing in the social order. For although we wouldn't like to admit it today, there is still some class in societies, and there's upper class, there's middle class, there's working class, and then, of course, there are the people on the streets. We don't like to admit it, but that's the way this, the social status goes. So, Bartimaeus may be regarded as the lowest standing, the lowest standing of life. And we are the same. We are the same. I can already hear your mind sticking out. How dare you? How dare you say I'm a beggarly? I'm not a beggar. I've worked hard all my life. I've worked hard for my money. I don't steal on the roads and beg. Bartimaeus was of the lowest standing. Brothers and sisters, we are all. What are we? We're nothing. We're nothing in this world. We're all sinners. We all sin each day. It's when we start saying, oh, we're up here a bit. We're not. 
God looks upon each and every one of us in the same vein. Paul the Apostle said, with one blood all nations were made, irregardless of race, creed and colour. Can we put the sun up in the morning? Can we put the moon up at night and the sun down? No, I think you'll find that's God. We're all the same. We're all the servants of God. We are his. We're made of dust beneath his feet. What are we? So we are like Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus, we're told, couldn't see. We don't know how long he hadn't been able to have the, the physical ability to see physically, but what we do know is that due to his disability, he'd never seen Jesus in the flesh. He never had. He couldn't have told you what Jesus looked like because he'd never seen him. Have you ever seen Jesus in the flesh? I think you'll find we haven't. You and I never had the pleasure of seeing Jesus Christ in the flesh. So we never saw him with our eyeballs, nor did Bartimaeus. But Bartimaeus had heard of Jesus. He had heard about him. He had heard of the miracles that he would commit, the wonders he had done. He had heard of his wondrous words. And so in faith, Bartimaeus calls. You and I, brothers and sisters, we have heard about Jesus. We read about him. We've had church services. We've been told about him. And we believe in him, as Bartimaeus did, with blind faith. And there are the words to him. Be of good comfort. Rise, for he calleth thee. In the same way as, my friends, each and every day these words are to us. With a low, we've never seen Jesus, but we believe in him. And we're told, be of good comfort. Rise, he calleth thee. By the Holy Spirit, we need each and every one of us. He's called us, hasn't he? By every prayer you make, Every time you read the Bible, every time you come to church, you're called in by the Holy Spirit, which burns inside of you. That religious piousness, that holiness. He calleth thee. And the wonder of these wonderful words is that it can be used at all times. If you have a trouble today, if you're burdened, be of good comfort. Rise. He's called you. You've been chosen. He's elected you. The Holy Spirit is within you. We don't even have to do the words that way. Let's switch them around. He calleth thee. Rise. Be of good comfort. In happy times. When you get up in the morning, my friends, tomorrow morning when you get up, think, rise. Be of good comfort. He calleth me. These wonderful words can be used in all occasions. To all believers. Like Bartimaeus. So those are for you. They are for others also, though. They are others for also, also for others. Because let us not forget, these words, be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee, were not said by Jesus Christ. He didn't say them. Bartimaeus called to him, and they were trying to shut him up. They just said, shh, 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 be quiet when he was calling. David, son of David, have mercy on me. Shh, shh, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. But then Jesus stopped and commanded his disciples, call him. And then the disciples go and say these words to Bartimaeus. Be of good comfort. Rise. He calleth thee. The disciples said them. There are people outside these doors today, my friends, we know, who haven't come to Christ yet, who don't know his word yet, who may think they are not worthy. Bartimaeus sitting on the street. Others thought he wasn't worthy of the word. Jesus did. And he commanded his disciples to call him. And so, under the great commission that we're given, which Jesus says to us all, go ye forth and tell. Let us go to those outside the walls this morning and say, be of good comfort, rise. He calleth thee. Undoubtedly, Bartimaeus may have heard through the synagogues, may have attended synagogues, even though he was blind, he attended the synagogues and would have heard. And we heard in our psalm reading this morning, Psalm 34, 1 to 8, exaltations of David, who at verse 4 of our psalm said, I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all my fears. Verse 6, even more attributable to Bartimaeus. 
This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. If Bartimaeus didn't know these words of David, he might well have heard the words of Jesus himself, who said, Come unto me, all ye who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give thee rest. He'd heard all these things. People outside these doors have heard these things, but they need us to say to them, Be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee. Our last attributable people are all who believe, you and I and those who come in the future, because these words are attributable not only to now, you can take a blessing from them today, be of good comfort and rise because he calleth thee. Not just for today though, but as you may remember from two weeks ago, the love of the Lord, I have loved thee with an everlasting love, said God, and therefore with loving kindness I call thee. When we leave this mortal coil, my friends, the day we are called from this earth by the workers of Almighty God, his angel will come on your day and they will say, be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee. On that day, we can stretch forth our hand and hopefully, As Bartimaeus did in verse 50, the very next verse, when he is told, be of good comfort, rise and call of thee, we are told, and he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. These wondrous words that we are offered today. The archaeologists this week have made great Clamour and great exclamation. They have found small parchments of an old scroll which has very few words on it. May I have two on this one or three on that one? My friends, this morning you've been given just eight. Eight little words. Eight of the Bible. From the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Be of good comfort. Rise, he calleth thee. And may these be a treasure to you, as the archaeologists believe theirs are to them. May God bless you, and Amen. Amen.